So, the NBA season is coming back in the next couple weeks. And the biggest news of breaking news for the NBA this week is Michael Jordan saying that he could beat Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Jerry West, all these other players. Now, Joe, you being a Miami Heat fan, I want to know what you think of LeBron playing Michael Jordan in his prime. Well, you know, before we talk about the great one, uh, we always got to play a little bit of sound for the great one. You know, Michael Jordan, no one disputes he's the greatest of all time, but let's just take a little trip down memory lane. Obviously, Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time, and no one disputes that, but I don't know. It's tough because as Michael Jordan and LeBron are very different players. Um, LeBron is probably more of a Magic Johnson type of guy, but I don't know. I think LeBron could very well beat Michael in a one-on-one -on -one because just because of how physically athletic he is, I think he's bigger. I think LeBron's a better defender than Michael was, Rob. What do you think? Um, I think Michael would be able to beat him. Um, even though LeBron, yes, he is stronger, I feel LeBron doesn't have that outside shot. He's more inside, like he has to lay it up on you, dunk on you. Agreed. agreed. And Michael's more of an outside shooter, Mr. Clutch and stuff. And I think Michael would be able to beat him. The only thing I think there, though, is if we're, they're playing a one-on-one -on -one game, I think the game's probably going to be more at the basket. I don't think it's going to be as much of a, a perimeter shooting game. So in that case, I think it'd, it'd be tough for anybody. I mean, LeBron can show he can he can pretty much shut down any position. He can shut down point guards like Derrick Rose. He can shut down big men. Um, so I don't know. I think if it was a game more around the basket, I don't know. I think you maybe got to give a little edge to LeBron there. Yeah, definitely had to give him more of an edge. I, I think uh, he's bigger, LeBron James, and when he drives on you, he goes in and he just attacks you. And Le when you look at Michael Jordan back of the day in his prime, yes, he was a good player, but he wasn't really as big as LeBron is all muscle. Let's move on to this then. Le Michael said the only guy who could maybe beat him was Kobe, and he said Kobe because Kobe steals all his moves. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I think Michael would beat Kobe because... I one thing I don't I think Kobe's obviously one of the best of all time, but I don't think Kobe's as anywhere near as good a defender as Michael was. No, I don't think so either. I think Michael would definitely beat this guy. Kobe's not a great defender, and uh, Michael's Michael's a really good defender, and he's a better scorer than Kobe was. Here's the thing: we always hear though, you know, we heard it before we came in to do our show. Everybody's like, "Well, LeBron's not as good as Michael was in his prime," but I don't know. I don't think that's a fair judgment because I would argue LeBron is still in his prime. Would you agree with that? Yeah, LeBron is still in his prime. When do you see a guy? He's still he's still in his late twenties, which is the prime part of your career. Yeah. He's putting up amazing numbers where he has over 10 assists a game. He'll get 10 rebounds a game, and then he'll score 20-something points. So I think, yes, LeBron is in his prime, and he's definitely a good player still to look out for until he's about 32, 33 years old. Yeah, I mean, I, across the media days, all you've been hearing from LeBron is his goal is to become the best player of all time. And I think that's very realistic for LeBron at the point he is in his career right now. Uh, if they, w I mean, they've got to win the third one this year. If they win the third one this year... Um, then depending on what happens the next few seasons, I think there's no question, but I think it all depends on if they're able to get that third championship this year. Yeah, it definitely does. Um, this third championship will prove if LeBron is one of those really top players like Jordan. He still has to win more championships, though, in my vote, true, I think. True, true. <laughs> um, but keeping with that, across the media, media days like we've been talking about LeBron said that he's a better basketball player today than he was last season he improved his game again and I think you just gotta love a guy who just continues to improve his game and we're gonna bash a little bit of Dwight Howard here Rob I hope you're okay with that yeah that's but, absolutely fine <laughs> yeah you know, a guy like Dwight Howard who probably is the who are is the best center in the league I think you see him and he's ne not improving his game he's just staying at where he is when he clearly could improve his game I think he could improve his game in the post move. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was on with Colin Cower the other day, and he said that he's offered to work with Kareem, with him a lot on uh, better post moves. But for some reason, Dwight Howard has has uh, doesn't want to work on his free throw shooting, which is atrocious, or that. <laughs> and I think when you see a guy like LeBron, who's always trying to improve his game, where he could he could p stop working right now and still be the best player in the league, but he just keeps on improving his game. Yeah, he definitely does. 
Um, he's one player I I admire, LeBron James. Every off season, he goes in, he works out, becomes this total muscle man. He works on all his shots, how he can be a better player, how he can be a better passer, how he can help his team in all different kinds of ways. And he just shows it every year. He comes out a better rebounder, better passer, and then he starts going off scoring in games. You never know what to expect from him. True. It's, Dwight Howard, though, on the other hand, Dwight does not improve whatsoever. The only thing I saw this week was him challenge James Harden blindfolded in free throws, and he beat him. However, oh, wow. he still is a terrible free throw shooter. I think he's worse than Shaquille O'Neal as a free throw shooter. Yeah, I agree with you. And it's really not that hard to hit a free throw, but Dwight Howard, I feel he doesn't improve on that whatsoever. He just stays the way he is, that big man who attacks you, blocks you, and plays good defense on you. Yeah. If there's anything that LeBron and Michael are the same in, is it's their work ethic. Like, Michael Jordan, when he came into the league, he was much more of a played-around-the-basket kind of guy. He wasn't a very good shooter when he came into the NBA, kind of like LeBron. LeBron, when he lost in his first finals, the Spurs kept on just making and make perimeter jump shots, and he couldn't make them. That just wasn't part of his game, and he worked on that, and now I think he's one of the best shooters in the NBA. Um, I just think the great players always continually work and improve their game, and the guys who are just content to be the way that they are and never improve, that's not the, the sign of a great player. Um, or I'll, let's talk about this. Everybody agrees the East has gotten a lot better. The Bulls have got a, are going to have Derrick Rose back. They're going to be better. The Pacers have improved. They've made a lot of offseason additions. The Knicks made a couple moves. They're going to be better. And the Nets maybe had the biggest offseason of all, and they're going to be better. Can LeBron win, win it all again this year? Can the Heat overcome a lot of their problems and put it all on LeBron's shoulders with him being the best player in the world right now? This year, Joe, is going to be really tough for the Heat. I could see them beating a team like the Knicks. I could see them beating the Nets. I think the Pacers are going to have a hard time beating them. The Pacers now, you have a healthy Danny Granger coming in this year. You have Paul George. You have Roy Hibbert. You have your point guard. This Indiana team is set. They have Luis Gola, Chris Copeland. They had a good offseason. And this is a team that always gives the Miami Heat a challenge because of their height. Now, the Miami Heat, they did add it. They had a good offseason. They picked up Michael Beasley. I they think did. he's going to be a decent player for them. Greg Oden, you don't know how his knees are going to last, how long they're going to last. He could be a big bust. But I think the only team in the East that could actually give Miami a real challenge is the Pacers. And I think this year is going to show. Um, it's going to be tough for them to go all the way this year. They might have to go through seven games just to beat the Pacers like they did last year. Agreed. I mean... I think no matter way you look at it, the Heat are not the best team in the East right now. I think with LeBron, though, anything is possible when you have him on your team. Um, I think you still got to give them an edge to win it all, but I think that Chicago is going to give them a lot of trouble, and Indiana definitely. Uh, they just got to... I mean, I would be okay if they rested Odin the whole season and just saw what he had for the playoffs because they don't need him for the regular season. They're going to win all the games that anyway without e trouble. So I think they keep Odin healthy. They rest him up for the for the postseason. Uh, that's going to be a big help for them. But that that's going to about do it for our NBA segment. That was pretty fun. I and mean, whenever we get we get to talk about LeBron and Michael Jordan, it's a good day. So we're going to go on. We're talking a little bit of baseball. The baseball game should be starting in about two minutes. So when we come back, the Cardinal Pirate game will be on. We'll keep you updated on that, and we'll be right back. 